my, if it isn't my favorite cinnamon roll of a captive come to call. Oh, aren't you just the cutest future in-law? Oh, please don't stand out in the rain, dear. Come in, come in. Here, let me take your umbrella and your jacket. Any weapons or exotic fruits to declare? Oh, <laughs> no, no. I'm only kidding. I would never make you declare any weapons. I know how important protection is on a date. Oh, for self-defense, I mean. Just the coat and umbrella. <sighs> there we are. So, tell me, have you come to pay a surprise visit to my sweet baby girl? Oh, you're here to pick her up for a date. Really? How romantic. She hasn't told me anything about it. And Audrey did put the kibosh on stalking you to keep up with her love life. If only I'd known you were coming, I could have planned everything down to the finest detail. And obviously during your date, I would keep an eye on you to make sure everything goes perfectly. But, oh well. <laughs> Audrey's teaching me about boundaries. <laughs> I can't say I care for them, but I'd do anything to make my baby girl happy, as you well know. Oh, really? Is it so unusual for mothers to chaperone their daughter's dates from three blocks away? Huh, you learn something new every day, don't you? I mean, I would understand if one were an overprotective mother, but I'm a cool mom. Why, I wouldn't say anything even if you two kissed each other in front of me. Well, maybe I would let slip something like, Ah, uh, young love. But nothing to disturb you or stop you or anything. Nothing <laughs> cringe, as the young folks say. I suppose it may be awkward for some, though, especially with how shy my little angel is. But I'm sure you agree her shyness makes her even cuter. And perhaps a bit more frustrating, but we can't hold that against her. Oh, well, she isn't quite ready yet. Hmm. I suppose I should entertain you then. She'd likely be miffed if I didn't. <laughs> Let's see. Target practice is out of the question, even though we have a range in the backyard. Audrey would never forgive me if I accidentally shot you, dear. And I would never forgive myself. After all, that's the sort of accident, uh, <laughs> activity we should reserve for in case you ever break my baby girl's heart. Well, what else could we do? <gasps> oh, I know. I can take this opportunity to show you our family album. I don't think that would be violating any of those boundaries. <laughs> and there are so many adorable pictures of Audrey from when she was a child. Now you just sit right here and I'll bring it. Here you go. This is our family album. I bought this one the same week I knew I was pregnant. Hubby and I have a wedding album, of course, and a newlywed album, and a dating album. Oh, and naturally, my private surveillance album from before we got together. But, well, I suppose those should remain between us. Now, this one is for our life with our sweet, darling daughter. I was determined to fill it from the very first moment with pictures of our baby, who was obviously going to be the cutest, most angelic, perfect baby ever born. How could she be anything else, given how perfect and wonderful our romance was before she came along? Oh, speak of the devil! Here's a picture of my husband when we were in our 20s. This is from when I told him I was pregnant. See the naked fear in his eyes? Oh, that takes me back. 
He was so nervous about becoming a father. But of course he didn't have to worry. He's the most perfect father ever. Oh, the t-shirt he's wearing? Yes, those are our initials. In the early days, he wore all sorts of cute couple-themed t-shirts. I insisted. Every time he wasn't at home or at the office, t-shirts with our initials, with hearts, with different words and phrases like I'm taken or happily married or my wife is a crack shot. Oh, the good old days. You've noticed those marks on his wrists, hmm? No, oh, our first set of constrictor knots. I was so young, I had no idea they'd be impossible to untie. But in my defense, I never intended to let him go. And I'll never forget when I had to cut him free. The way he swooned when I took out my Bowie knife. A sweet 16 present my mother gave me. It was so romantic the way the blood drained from his face and he fell right into my arms. And you know, it's a good thing I let him go when I did. He almost lost his hands. Lack of circulation, you know. And then how would he have worn his wedding band? Our courtship did leave scars, I admit. But what great love doesn't have its ups, downs, and rope burns, hmm? <laughs> You know, at first I felt a bit guilty for hurting him at the beginning of our never-ending love story, but the truth is, he enjoyed it. He always reminds me that if it weren't for all those months of, uh, training, <laughs> he wouldn't know the happiness he has now. Oh, he's so kind and caring and kinky. <laughs> and look... This picture is of us with my parents at their house. That's when I told them I was going to have a baby. I wish you could have met my father. You remind me a lot of him. You're much younger and less bald, though. I also doubt you're as handy as he was with a lockpick. Why, he could get out of Mom's handcuffs in four seconds flat. He just never did. Hmm? When did he die? Oh, sweetheart, no. He's still alive. Mom just never lets him leave the house. Especially not to meet people. Oh, and there's my brother, Robert. Serial killer? Oh, no. I know he looks the type, but... Oh, I'm afraid Robert would never hurt a fly. He's never even kidnapped anyone. I suppose there's a black sheep in every family, isn't there? I believe this photo is from his trip to New Mexico. He snapped it in his hotel room when I asked him to over the phone, just so I could get his reaction to becoming an uncle on film. If I recall correctly, he was out there in the desert trying to find evidence of some conspiracy. Little green men or something. Isn't that nutty? Aliens! Imagine! Oh, and look at this one. My baby girl. This is the first picture I ever took of her. Look, how darling. All that blood. And none of it hers. 36 hours of labor. She really didn't want to be evicted, our opinionated, headstrong little darling. Oh, but she was tiny. Five pounds, eleven ounces. She is just so cute and perfect. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. This is from when she was two years old. Here she is playing with her favorite teddy bear, Mr. Truffle. She'd never admit this, you know, but... <clears throat> she still needed him to sleep until she was twelve. <laughs> Between us, I think she still cuddles him sometimes when she's feeling extra stressed. I hope you aren't the jealous type or Mr. Truffle might have some trouble on his paws. Hey, Mom, do you know where my blue bra is? The, the striped one with the stupid frilly bow in the middle? You know, the one that makes my boobs look amazing? I need it. I think the dryer ate it last time I did laundry. Have you seen it? Oh, 
Excuse me a moment. It's in your underwear drawer, dear. Uh, I looked there. Like, that was the first place I looked. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you sure we should be having this conversation? Shouted across the house. Why? It's not like anyone... Mom, is someone here? Maybe. <laughs> Mom! Mom, you can't just... Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, I don't suppose I could ask you to forget the last minute of your life, right? Babe, what are you doing here? Well, good afternoon to you too, sweetheart. I said hi to you at breakfast, Mom. Don't be dramatic. I'm not the delinquent daughter who never calls and never writes. I literally live with you. Anyway, um, <clears throat> what are you doing here? I was just having a friendly chat with my future in-law, that's all. N not you, Mom. And don't say that. It's creepy. Ugh. We're, like, barely dating. This is, this is still really new, okay? Uh, it's okay for her to call you a future in-law because it's true? Oh my god, don't tell me her corniness is rubbing off on you. Look, one romantic screwball in my life is enough, thanks. Don't forget your father, dear. <sighs> okay, two romantic screwballs, but that's my limit. Besides, when did I agree to marry you anyway, babe, huh? <laughs> I mean, I like you and everything. I I really like you and and everything. I might even more than like you a little bit, but that's not the point. The most I've agreed to so far is like going to the movies and grabbing cheeseburgers. Hold the wedding bells, you know? I, I get enough of that at home. What? What do you mean you want to marry me someday? I, you can't just say something like that in front of my mom. She'll take it the wrong way. She's wired weird. Oh, but sweetheart, it's so cute. Your beloved officially declaring future intentions. And it's such an early stage without any ropes or chains necessary. How darling. Oh, my heart. Wait, what did you just say? If you reject me a million times, I'll only ask you a million more. I'm so glad my daughter chose such an adorable fiancé. Mom! To be. <laughs> fiancé to be. Not better. Well, why not, dear? Isn't this what every young woman wants? No mind games, no playing hard to get. You know exactly where you stand with each other. Well, maybe I want to play hard to get. A little. Like, how else am I supposed to keep someone from getting too cocky, huh? Like, wear my heart on my sleeve? Come on, lame. Oh, come now, sweetheart. Let's change the subject, okay? What I want to know is, why are you here so early? Our date's supposed to be at... Wait, five? No, I thought we said seven. Remember that... Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, we changed it to go to the earlier showing because the one at 7.30 sold out. I forgot. Great. Now I'm running two hours behind. Oh, man. I overslept this morning. My schedule's been off all day, and now this. I'm so sorry, babe. Look, we might still be able to make the movie, but I gotta shower real quick and get dressed and put some actual, like, makeup on, I guess, since it's a date. Uh, but with my skills, that might add an hour to the timetable. Maybe better to skip it. Oh, and I... Definitely won't have time to dry my hair, but I need to wash my hair. Oh my god. You sure you want to be seen in public with the creature from the Black Lagoon? Because that's what I'm going to look like. Hey, uh, no, this was my fuck up, so, you know, if you don't want to be stuck waiting around for me to get ready, we could, we could always cancel. You know, we can go out some other day and... Oh man, but I was really looking forward to this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so stupid. I feel horrible about letting you down like this. And so you should. So careless over sleeping like that. And as for canceling, how can you be so heartless, hmm? Why, before you came in, your date was gushing about just how excited they are to go out with you tonight. Such a wonderful partner. Always so kind and loving with my daughter. Ah, okay, I get it. Cut it out, Mom. Oh, all right. I shouldn't be so harsh with you. But how could you oversleep on a day you knew you had a date? 
If it were me, I'd have been up for a week planning ahead. Well, for some reason, I couldn't sleep last night. And what reason was that? Oh, I don't know. All the <clears throat> noise you and Dad were making. Audrey, you know Fridays are our couple's hobby night. Yeah, this month you're trying woodworking, and last month it was what, yodeling? It wasn't yodeling, dear. It was throat singing. <laughs> Same difference at three in the morning. Ugh, can't imagine why I'm not sleeping well living at home. Can't you just go bowling like normal parents? You know better than anyone I have a lifetime ban from the bowling alley. <laughs> I'm uh, a bit too competitive, you see. <laughs> I put a fire axe straight through the snack bar. Remember, Audrey, your sixth birthday party? You know, I'm starting to wonder why I didn't see the whole kidnapping my crush thing coming. I, I feel like that might be on me. It is, dear. Well, family, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Babe, do you still want to go out, or do you want to reschedule, or... Oh, um, or would you rather stay and hang out here? Uh, in my room. I mean, not with my mom. I'm, I'm not that masochistic, or sadistic, or whatever it would be. Uh, I know it's not an actual date, but maybe we could, you know, cuddle a little? I, I mean, if you want. You came all the way here already, and it seems a shame to just <laughs> cancel and turn you away. Oh, perfect! If you like, I can prepare something special for dinner. Maybe I can bake you some cookies or a pie. Or perhaps you would like to see how your future wife cooks. <laughs> she might not look it, but she's a whiz in the kitchen. With a bit of help from yours truly, of course. She means I burn water. You'll learn, dear. I don't think I will. But I guess it's nice you believe in me, at least. Besides, I think my date would prefer something more fun than watching me try not to burn the house down. So... How about it, babe, huh? Hit the cinema or hang out in my room? I know it's not the same, but we could watch a movie either way. And we could always be less... formal in my room. You know, less... less hand-holding and more, um... Go on, sweetheart. I think I'd rather not. Oh, sweetie, you are so cute when you get all shy like this. I'm not being shy. I'm being tactful, okay? In front of my mother. Because normal mothers and daughters are tactful about this sort of thing in front of each other. Right, Mom? Okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. Just one last thing. If my daughter decides to be less tactful with you in her bedroom... Please promise me you'll use protection. Mom, what did you say? Oh, nothing, sweetie. I'll go to make dinner now and, and mind my own business, right? See, when you say it like that, I think you're not gonna. Bye bye now. Hmm, suspicious. Well, anyway, come on, let's go to my room. I'll even let you pick the movie. This time. Don't start thinking that you get to pick the movie every time. You know, my house, my rules, I guess. Well, it's not my house, but it's my room. And so next time I pick the movie. But that's, that's not the point. You get the, you get the idea. You get to, uh, mm, mm, uh, oh, you jerk. Don't just kiss me like that all of a sudden. Jeez, my mom's barely out of earshot. And besides, you know, my heart can't take it. Shut up. Don't tease me. Am I... Am I really that red? Oh, you are the worst. Ugh. I don't know why I love you so much. What? No, I said nothing. Nothing. You didn't hear anything. Oh, you did hear me. Hmm. Okay. So, you just wanted me to say it again? God, how needy can you be, huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you are such a jerk, you know? But you're my jerk. Hmm. Now, come on, let's go. Ah, young love. Oh, 